Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, today we're going to discuss a tutorial on cash flow from operations. We are going to learn some formulas, calculations, and some examples related to the same. Let's see some template regarding the cash flow from the operations. Well, there are some of the details that have been given. The cash flow from the operations. 11.92 billion and 6.842 and so on and so forth. So one of the most important components of the any cash flow statement is the cash flow from the operating activity. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the in, in detail to understand why it is such an important pillar of the cash flow statements. Investors can find many important details in the sections in the fine print analysis of the same and can help in making informed decisions. So cash flow from the operations. Let's begin. Cash flow from the operations tries to look into the cash inflows and outflow caused by the core business operations and in turn looking into the cash generated by the company's products and services. So the main component which are reflected in this part of the statement shows the changes that may, that is made in the cash. Uh, that is the account receivable, that is AR account receivable, inventory and uh, then you have uh, depreciation and accounts payable segments. So analysts community look into the section with the hawk eye as it shows the viability of the business conducted by the company. So in the long run, if the company have to remain solvent at the net levels, the cash flow from the operation needs to remain net positive. In other words, the operation must generate positive cash inflow. Okay. So in a single line, we can say that the cash flow from the operation activity converts the item reported in the income statement uh, from uh, accrual basis of the accounting to cash. It's always easier to understand when we create some questions and then answer them. So there are a few questions which when answered would help us to understand the topic in a much easier manner. The first question, when any company purchases, like, you know, if there is a addition to the inventory, inventory, if there is an addition in that particular case, what happens to the cash account of the company? The second, what happens to the cash account of the company when any company borrows money from any bank and by signing a note payable. Third, what happens to the cash account of the company when a company pays some uh, pays some accounts payable? So to answer question number one, the cash account in this case, I'll just write over here. The, okay, the cash account in this case would decrease as the company would need to pay some cash for the purchase inventory. As per the double entry system, the account would lead to increase in the asset. There will be increase in the asset account. In this case, the asset under the consideration is basically the inventory. When we talk about borrowing, in this case, the cash account would increase instead of over here decrease. It will be in it will increase as the company has borrowed cash from the bank due to the double entry system. The liability account uh, will decrease by the similar amount, and the liability account under the consideration here is notes payable. The next question is in this case, uh, pay when the account, when the company pays the accounts payable, in this case, the cash account would uh, decrease and uh, as they are paying the accounts payable due to the double entry system, the liability account would also decrease by the same amount. So the liability under consideration is accounts payable. So preparation of the cash flow from the operating activity. Let's have a look at how this section of the cash flow statement is prepared. Understanding the preparation and methods will help us to evaluate what all and where all to look into and how one can read the fine prints in this uh, section. The beginner point of the section is the net income figure. The net income that we just saw in the template, uh, you know, that we have to see the first. If all the company's revenue was in the form of the cash, uh, you can say, was, was there in the cash and there are no non-cash expenses, then this remains as the main figure. However, since in reality is not true that hence the non-cash charges and the credit sales in the year need to be adjusted. So let's understand by the means of an hypothetical example. Let's say there's a guy, there's a person called Mr. X. Uh, he starts a new business and uh, has planned that at the end of the month, he will prepare his financial statement like income statement, balance sheets and cash flow statements. Let's say in the first month, there have been no revenue in the first month okay and no such operating expenses hence income statement will result in the net income to be zero 
So in the cash flow from the operations, the starting point would be net income, which will be zero. However, there is a decrease in the cash by seven hundred dollars uh, as the company decided to the to purchase some inventory. So the net will be the net income that we have is uh, zero, right? The increase in the inventory is. Uh, going to be less in the negative 70,000 and the cash provided in the final the cash used in the minus 700 and the final that is the cash that has been poured in the in, uh, operating activity is going to be less minus 700. Let's say in the second month uh, there's something new that happens during the month the company was able to let's say sell 10 products the product unit uh, which was priced at let's say 80 dollar per product each so the delivery of the product was done on the 20th of the month and the buyer was put in was worth of uh, 800 dollars due to by the 10th of the next month so the cost of this product would be is let's say 500 dollars hence the per income statement the net income was reported as 800 minus uh, 500 which will give us 300 for the second month so the cash flow from the statement will show us as the net income which will be 300 Right, the increase in the accounts receivable, that is the accounts receivable increase is going to be in minus 800 and the decrease in the inventory, uh, I'll just say in the minus will be 500, that will be, that will give us the cash, net cash provided is uh, simply as, as you can see over here is zero. So please note, you know, the above cash flow from the operating activity is just for the second month. The cumulative cash flow for the two months would look like, you know, one shown in the table, like something like this. Like the, the net income will be 300. Uh, the increase in the account receivable will be minus 800. And uh, the in increase in the inventory over here, in instead of decrease, it will be increase in the inventory will be minus 200. And the cash provided from the operating activity will be 700 as you can see over here in the answer now uh, for calculating the cash flows uh, there are two methods one is called the direct method we'll be just discussing in a quick fashion uh, the direct method uh, calculating the operating operations using the direct method includes like determining all the types of the cash transaction including cash receipts and payments expenses interest and taxes so the step goes something like this there's the first thing that is called as the cash receipts uh, then you have uh, B second thing as your cash payments and uh, then you have third as cash expenses and the fourth thing as your cash interest so well the fifth thing is going to be in this case going to be the cash tax the cash flow from the operations the formula will be this cash receipts uh, then there will be deduction of this so that is the cash payments then the cash expenses will be deducted then the cash interest will be deducted and then the cash taxes now uh, there's another method that is called as indirect method the calculation from the cash flow from the operation using indirect method starts with it starts with a net income and adjusts as per in the balance sheet so you know the step is like you know you this is the first step start with the net income income the step two is going to be like you know you'll be subtracting any gains or uh, you can say losses that all will be uh, deducted like from the financing and investment activity uh, the third step that is going to be you'll be adding back any non-cash charges that you'll be adding back and the step four will be fourth that is you know add or subtract any operating accounts and operating assets that is increase in the balance of the operating assets in the subtracted while decrease in those accounts will be added and the fifth will be operating liabilities if any increase in the balance of the operating liability accounts are added while the decrease has been subtracted so the cash flow from the operating formula looks something like this there's this net income then you add any gain or losses from the financing activity plus non-cash charges plus you can just simply write as changes in operating accounts so we can after this we can finally make a conclusion on this as uh, as we have seen throughout the uh, tutorial that we are able to see the cash flow from the operation is a great indicator of the core operations of the company it can help an investing investors gouge about the operations of the company and see whether the core operations are generating ample amount in the business
So if the company is not generating money from the core operations, it will cease to exist in the few years of time. So that's it uh, for this particular topic. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Thank you everyone. Cheers.